There are times when teasing crosses the line and does turn into what we would call bullying. And whenever we talk about bullying, I want to be careful to define the term. Bullying is when one child is being systematically targeted by another child or a group of children and is unable to defend themselves. And it does happen that there are children who are brutally teased about their eye color or their hair color or their size or their shape, and they are unable to defend themselves and they have no one on their side. If that is happening with your child, then you want to take the situation very, very seriously. And there's a few different things you could do. The first thing I would recommend you do is to touch base with the adults who are around or could be around when this kind of teasing is happening, whether it be the people at the school or a child's camp or an after school setting, and alert them that you are under the impression or think that this might be happening. You want to approach this neutrally. You don't want to go in accusing because again, even children who really seem to be sincerely the receiving end only, sometimes when more stories come out, we find out that they've had very much of a hand in bringing about the teasing that they are suffering from. So when you approach adults in other environments about how your child is being treated, your best bet is to always go in as an ally and a colleague and to say, I am getting reports from my son that he is being brutally teased about his height. Could you keep your ears open? Could you keep your eyes open and let me know if you are seeing the same thing at school? From there, you can begin to have a conversation about what is actually happening and then take a thoughtful approach to what you might do to help protect your son. So in terms of a thoughtful approach and assuming that the person at the school, say, has seen the same thing that your son is reporting at home, you then want to partner with your school in protecting your son without doing anything that would actually increase the level of retaliation. School confrontation around bullying is a very, very delicate process. And you will want to make sure that your school is skilled and adept at confronting bullying before you involve your child in any intervention designed to reduce bullying at school.